Saba, an aquatic paradise, home to some of nature's most beautiful marine wonders. From shallow azure waters to deep blue seas, not forgetting rustic romantic islands, Saba is a tropical escape like no other. And it is one of the world's best scuba diving destinations. Whether it's your first diving trip or you're a master diver, Saba is the ideal destination to leave your world behind and come discover a different one. Saba is located on Borneo, the third biggest island in the world after Greenland and New Guinea. It is encircled by the South China Sea, Sulu and Celebes Seas. The island's waters are part of the Coral Triangle, the world's most biodiverse ocean environment. This makes the waters of Saba blessed with a multitude of amazing marine life. With direct flights from major cities, Saba is easily accessible. So don't delay. Purchase your flight tickets, book your accommodation, and prepare to begin a love affair that will captivate your heart, body, and mind. On the west coast, you'll find the Tunku Abdul Rahman Marine Park, which is just 10 to 20 minutes by boat from Saba's capital city, Kota Kinabalu. Novice or first-time divers will love the shallow waters that make it ideal for taking your initial steps into the world of diving. For the more experienced, how about combining your love for diving with underwater photography? You can also try the very safe and fun underwater scooter, the Diver Propulsion Vehicle or DPV. The park has major coral reef grounds located on the island's fringes. You will be astonished at the abundance of marine life that you'll come across despite being located so close to Saba's largest city. Accommodation is also available on selected islands within the park. Be prepared to revel in five-star comforts and pleasures. Just outside the Tunku Abdul Rahman Park lies Dinawan Island. Dinawan's reefs are well suited for first-time divers. Plunge into its depths and discover the wonders yourself. After an eventful day, head back to Dinawan's comfy resort. The majority of Dinawan's visitors love the fact that next to scuba diving, there are plenty of other fun things to do. The three islands that form Pulau Tiga Park were created by volcanic lava and ash over millions of years ago. Not to worry though, the volcano has long been extinct, but the island is a hotbed for wildlife, in and out of the water. The seabed of Pulau Tiga is known for its silty substrate. This makes for varied diving conditions and different degrees of visibility, depending on the weather. Still, the park's reefs are blessed with rich marine flora and fauna, sufficient to keep you occupied for days. On Pulau Tiga's smallest island, Snake Island, experienced local guides will lead you to the shiny, shy and extremely poisonous sea serpents which nest in large numbers within the park. Another unique attraction is a volcanic mud bath. Mantanani is a group of three isolated islands off Saba's west coast. It is a secluded escape from the hectic urban life. Scuba divers are drawn to explore Mantanani Island's three World War II wrecks. The Japanese ships sunk by American forces in 1944 are covered in red, purple and yellow soft corals. These wrecks are safe to frequent and have become a giant playground for more and more fish every day. Mantanani's reefs are equally astounding with amazing coral coverage and a variety of colorful local residents. From the elusive to the bold performers, it's an underwater stage performance every day. And if you're lucky, you may catch a glimpse of the shy and endangered dugongs known to frequent the islands. The hidden jewel, the Liang Liang Atoll, is a secluded hideaway far out in the South China Sea. A 40-minute flight from Kota Kinabalu will get you there. Liang Liang has some of the world's most spectacular reef walled diving sites, with depths plunging to 2,000 meters. If big fish and pelagic are what you're looking for, Liang Liang is the place for you. Schools of scalloped hammerhead sharks and other large marine creatures are common sites in the nutrient-rich and deeper, colder waters. Equally amazing is the rich and pristine coral reef with schools of fish in any imaginable color against crystal clear blue water. And when you must leave the water, head to the very comfortable diver's resort as you rest and recharge for tomorrow's adventure. 
Langkayan is the only dive resort in the vicinity of Sandakan, about 40 minutes flight from Kota Kinabalu. If you like searching for small critters on the seabed, Langkayan will have you unraveling the mysterious world of the bottom dwellers. And while you're acquainting yourself with a myriad of smaller marine life, don't forget to look into the blue. There is always a chance of a big fish encounter. If you like a bit of adventure, the popular Langkayan and mosquito shipwrecks make the perfect introduction to wreck diving. Choose from staying in a beach chalet with a picturesque seafront view or opt for an exclusive bungalow where you may rest in the comforts of luxury. A small but busy place, Sampurna is located on a picturesque bay overlooking the Celebes Sea. Sampurna itself has become popular for one very special reason, night diving. Even though there is limited coral growth due to Sampurna's turbid waters, the narrow but deep waterway running in front of the town gets flushed with nutrients multiple times a day during tide changes. This makes it a thriving area for aquatic life. You will find the most fascinating and unusual creatures, many you will never see during the day. Sampurna is also your gateway to Sabah's East Coast dive locations. Spanning over 35,000 hectares, the Tun Sakaran Marine Park is Malaysia's largest marine park with wonderful marine life that have adapted to the varying underwater environments. Dive into the park's colorful fringing and patch reefs and encounter hundreds of hard and soft coral species, inhabited by even greater numbers of reef fish and larger predators. Seagrass beds and mangroves not only serve as nurseries for reef fish, but also hold a multitude of unique life forms. You will have the rare chance to observe the incredible camouflage adapted by many of the marine life found here. Other sites invite you to search for some of the smaller and elusive critters that hide within the sandy bottom. While Tun Sakaran Marine Park has no accommodation, you can easily make a day trip from Sampurna or stay on a resort located on one of the neighboring islands. If you're a lover of white sandy beaches, Pom Pom Island will take your breath away. Pom Pom's reefs slope down to deep waters and reveal a wide array of photogenic small and medium-sized marine life. At certain times of the year, the water is so clear that you can enjoy a glorious view of the subsurface surroundings. Staying on Pom Pom also allows you to dive at the surrounding islands, including Tun Sakaran Marine Park. Accommodation on the island varies from a boutique luxury style resort to more basic accommodation at a diver's lodge just right on the beach. Arguably one of Asia's most romantic beach settings, but also a diver's haven, Mata King is the island for romantics and nature lovers. It is the ideal spot to propose to a loved one and maybe even get married underwater. There are more than 10 dive sites around Mata King itself and many more in close proximity to surrounding islands. A favorite among divers is the Mata King House Reef. Interesting and rare creatures make regular appearances here. You can swim right up to large schools of fish and observe remarkable marine life behavior close up. Fancy posting mail underwater? Shipwreck Post is Malaysia's only underwater post box. Just drop in your postcard. Imagine the look of amusement on your family and friends' faces once they realize you posted it underwater. You can stay on Mata King's luxury resort and pamper yourself with the finest facilities. One of the last few islands within Sabah's territorial waters, Bohean and Timba Timba have only recently been open to divers. Expect to have the vicinity to yourself while exploring the reef and its inhabitants. The islands are just at the edge of a deep water channel. The deep cold water supplies a steady stream of nutrients to the reef, making the area a preferred spot for marine life of all sizes. Here you would be in a great location to see some of the larger underwater inhabitants or even the occasional migrating marine life. If you're looking for the unexpected, Bohean and Timba Timba will not disappoint. As Sabah's only man-made tropical reef island, Roach Reef is a truly exclusive sanctuary that lets you get away from it all. The surrounding reefs conceal many alluring underwater temptations, wrecks, reefs, sandbeds, and there are plenty of marine activities. You can't miss the many cleaning stations at Roach Reef.
Within deeper waters, you can stop at Malaysia's first and only underwater bus stop. Don't hope to catch a bus ride here, but you can catch a spectacular sight of old buses placed underwater to spur marine life. Roach Reef offers comfortable accommodation and makes for a remarkable little landmark surrounded by nothing but the blue ocean. At the edge of the Borneo continental shelf, overlooking the Celebes Sea, lies breathtaking Kapalai Island. And the best part, all dive sites are nearby. You can even dive off the dive center pier and you will find yourself in a macro lover's haven. Enjoy muck diving at its best. Witness an unequaled concentration of peculiar and rare marine fauna. Kapalai is also well known as a regular spot for many professional underwater photographers. If it is their preferred destination, then you can be sure that Kapalai must truly be something extraordinary. The luxury resort that occupies a large reef flat is designed in local water village style, overlooking the water's edge. A short boat ride from Sampurna town is Mabul Island. This is muck diving heaven. As you descend to the silty shallow and flat seabed, you'll soon know why. Within these murky depths, there is a world of unusual, weird and wonderful critters. These smaller bottom dwellers can be exceptionally alluring with their bizarre looks, unique behavior and mannerisms. But in Mabu, you don't need to miss out on coral reefs, where sea turtles are plenty, as well as other reef inhabitants. After your share of muck and coral reef diving, do drop by on at least one of the many artificial reef dive sites nearby. Mabul also offers a good choice of dive resorts. You can stay in chalets right on the beach or in a tropical garden. There are also luxurious bungalows built on stilts on a reef flat. And if you really want an extraordinary experience, there is the Platform Hotel, a rig that has been converted to a comfortable lodge with a house reef just below. Last but not least, there are liverboards which run regular dive trips to Mabul and other nearby islands. The world-famous Sipadan Island has become the international icon for diving in Sabah. It is one of the most precious marine ecosystems in the world due to the amazing marine flora and fauna that thrive in the surrounding waters. The entire Sipadan area has been designated as a protected area for marine conservation. To dive in Sipadan is an almost unbelievable experience. The sheer variety of underwater species makes Sipadan the mother of all dive sites in Sabah. Sipadan's reef inhabitants have become accustomed to daily visits of scuba divers. Therefore, they're not threatened by the presence of bubble-blowing intruders. Don't be surprised to find yourself seeing up to 30 turtles in just one dive. Sharks are a common sight and equally regular are pelagic sightings. With a bit of luck, you are in for a special treat, coming face to face with the biggest fish in the sea. In preserving the delicate marine environment of Sipadan, only a limited number of divers are allowed into the area every day. As Sipadan has no accommodation, you can stay on the neighboring islands or at Sampurna. As you can see, Sabah's water is a diving paradise like no other. One that will captivate your memories and leave you with a longing to return. Come experience one of nature's most beautiful wonders. Come dive Sabah.